so like uh, uh, basically i have uh, 10 plus years of experience uh, uh, within this area so like uh, power bi so basically business intelligence and data engineering side okay so yeah this training mainly uh, uh, like the primary skill of this training is power bi itself even though it is a power bi training so like when it comes to the work part we also need sql server database knowledge so that's where uh, you know i will be teaching sql server also part of this training okay so in order to get started with the sql server and power bi so we need to have understanding on data warehousing also like uh, you know uh, it is a kind of a what is this data what are the kind of models we have it within the data so there will be like uh, you know uh, basic background one should have it so uh, even we get some questions on interview side also on data warehousing side to understand uh, the basic uh, idea about the data side so that is also will be covered in the this particular training so while I cover with this data warehousing, in order to have a clear picture and how it works uh, in a real time world, right? So I will be taking some sessions on uh, uh, SSIS also. So it is mentioned here like MSBI SSIS. So basically SSIS is a data integration tool. Okay, so I'll take few sessions so that you will have complete uh, idea about uh, uh, how is this whole process will happen uh, in the real time uh, projects? OK, so yeah, so this is the timings of the session like uh, every day 7 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. IST and uh, I take uh, on weekdays only, not on the weekends. So in case, uh, you know, uh, if I have missed some class due to something one one day or something, right? We will have that class maybe on Saturdays. Mostly I'll avoid, but uh, it will be mostly on the weekdays only the classes would be. OK, so you can practice on the weekends time and come back uh, on that, uh, you know, Monday session. OK, so that is the thing. And uh, just to talk about uh, what is this uh, training? Uh, right, like uh, uh, I mean, so why, uh, why why are we doing this particular training? So what is this business intelligence? First of all, right. So business intelligence means, right. So it will be uh, uh, given uh, uh, business knowledge. Like one second, some people are finding difficult. Can you hear me? Uh, all of you, at least a few of you. Yeah, we can. <coughs> yeah, we okay. can hear you. Cool then. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, so I'm good there. So, why we need to invest in business intelligence? All right. So, business intelligence uh, means it. It is the. Uh, uh, it is like you know we uh, with the BI tools like uh, you know we can create the reports and uh, we can analyze that. Like you might be thinking without business intelligence tool, can we not analyze the business? Can we not uh, run our company? Or uh, is it like without this, we cannot do it? Means, all uh, right, I can definitely say uh, uh, no for it, but uh, you know, without business intelligence also, we can understand the data, what is happening in our business and what is there, right? But these business intelligence tools are modern tools which has a lot of uh, advantages where uh, users can quickly understand the business data and quickly take the decisions. Like, uh, you know, uh, it will be very clear to them like what is happening and with, uh, within less time and they can even take the decisions on time. Like if I have to say that, uh, you know, uh if somebody will take like you know uh, 10 days like you know business users they are they are not much technical side how they can understand this data technically just uh, uh getting the data into uh, some place or understand it it will be difficult right 
So what is that uh, uh, this bus particular business intelligence tools help them is so we uh, as a BI developers, so we kind of connect with uh, different uh, kind of data coming with uh, within the business and we create the uh, uh, information in a pictorial representation like pictorial means we will show, show that information in the visualizations uh, charts like bar chart pie chart like a like, lot of charts are there so we we just show that uh, in that manner we also provide the you know kind of a slicers where user can choose what data they would like to choose with and understand their business so it will be very quick for them to uh, understand the information and take the decisions quickly right sometimes you know like uh, if you are taking the decisions uh, like after a few days or something if it is delayed so that will have huge risk and uh, you know impact on the uh, you know business okay so like what i would like to say is uh, you know so let's say something uh, in the banking application right if somebody is withdrawing uh, the amount 10000 and uh, in in the account or something it it is getting you know uh, 20000 so it is showing like 20000 it is getting so there is some issue is there right so if you don't uh, you know uh, find that issue very quickly there will be a lot of issues to the customers right so likewise there could be any problems like you know so what it is happening in the business like in which area our business is good on which area business is bad on which area we need to do like uh, more marketing or advertisement to increase our business and uh, if i do advertisement uh, how much it has improved on which area so because of this so how many new customers we got it like if you want to understand everything right so it's like all uh, practically we go with the data right so if you look at this particular one so business intelligence is a process that help us uh, change data into information right so whatever the data we have it that data we will get through information right so through that information we get the knowledge and that with the knowledge we can plan that you know uh, how we can move forward how what steps we can take it to forward and uh, get that organization to the next level in terms of uh, you know business growth and all right so it will be like uh, i will also give more examples uh, like in upcoming uh, 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 lessons and uh, uh, you know uh, we we you can get uh, more clarity so it is like you know uh, if you if you take right like uh, like i i will take a simple example of uh, supermarket guys okay so within the supermarket right so uh if the, if i want to understand a few insights like you know what is the uh, customer range of billings billing within that particular supermarket if i would like to understand right so there will be a lot of billings will happen like if i would like to understand on a day basis or averagely like week basis or which products more people are buying here so which are the products which are having less uh, purchasing here so those insights i can easily make it right so you know if if that insights are there right insights means that uh, the date reports are there so the business i mean that uh, you know uh, owner of the business or uh, people working on the business they can you know uh, buy the uh, I mean, they can keep their inventory, right? So that particular uh, supermarket with those uh, products who who are having, uh, I mean, they have high demand of the products. Instead of purchasing something which is not relevant and keeping there and people don't buy it and it will be lost to them, right? So what I'm saying is, right, it could be any business. It could be anything, any business, which is involved so business intelligence is must and should which means 
in not only particularly we can see this business intelligence in one or two companies every company need a business intelligence so this reporting is must for every company so that's why uh, so that's why it is having uh, you know uh, huge uh, demand so i i would say that like uh, you know it is having huge demand demand uh, uh, because the usage of the companies are you know more like so so that is the thing right so we will go to that uh, in depth in uh, upcoming uh, in some time slides so for now we yeah, are let's uh, stop it uh, stop it about uh, this why should we invest in this one right so if you look at this is the complete flow of the business intelligence uh, like uh, how it happens in the real world actually right so if you look at it uh, like uh, right so we get that you know a uh, lot of raw data the raw data can be of the any kind of business right say like if you take a supermarket right if you take one city itself within bangalore so we have same uh, you know supermarkets like we have a, let's say 15 are there in different different areas so which means so we get the raw data right raw, raw data means like whatever the business transactions happens in the particular stores so we get that data right so that is uh, the raw data we get it from that raw data you know so we kind of uh, you know create a data warehouse system using the etl tools so when i say etl tools like i was saying uh, like uh, ssis right ssis is also one of the microsoft etl tool right so those etl tools what they do they will extract the data from different sources and transform if required if we want to uh, transform or format or structure the data so we can do that even data cleaning everything we can do it with transform uh, the kind of transformations we have it in that and load it so if you look at so with the help of this one it is not a manually we take that files copy that in pen drive nothing we do it so whatever the data we get it in daily basis right so automatically we create this etl jobs to extract the dat data and load it into the data warehouse so so why uh, it is required data warehouse so what is this data warehouse right so in in the simple terms a data warehouse means the place where we store the uh, data right the place where we store the data or the place where we store complete information about the business but how we store it so we store it in a proper organized manner so that it can be quickly accessed like i'll tell you so we have a, a medical shop guys example i'm telling you for data warehouse we have a medical shop right so whatever the medicines they they get it to the medical shop if they don't organize it properly in the shelves or drawers right if you throw them like all the medicines within a room right and if customer comes for a medicine few of the medicines to purchase with you know to pick those medicines from that particular uh, unorganized uh, you know medicines thrown away in the room it will take its own time right so in order to avoid that kind of things what they do is we uh, you know uh, it is like the inventory is organized uh, arranged organized in such a way that so we uh, place those medicines properly in a shelves and drawers so that it can be quickly you know accessed like for example if a customer is coming for a medicine they can quickly take them and uh, uh, provide them so they can make that transaction very quickly and uh, uh, like and customer also will be satisfied right so that's the thing like you know if you organize the data also in a proper manner whatever we get it 
right? So there are certain data models we have it and how do we store the data, how we organize the data, everything we will see clearly in upcoming lessons of this particular training. OK, so data warehouse like I will also say one more example like for example, we all uh, order it online like Amazon or whatever, right? So in Amazon, if you order it, right? Even though the product uh, manufacturing is from different uh, place, like let's say that uh, product manufacturing is in uh, North India, right? It will take some time to travel and get that. But what they do is they'll maintain the warehouses in the primary uh, focusing areas like uh, big uh, gaudans, uh, godans and all they maintain it on that godans they'll they'll keep all these products keep ready and somebody orders it quickly it will be you know uh, delivered to that respective customer right so the same phase like uh, it is like you know if you have all the data which is required for data analysis purpose right if I want to know about what is happening in my business, right? If our data is not consistent or not consolidated or something randomly, those files are kept like somewhere, somewhere else, right? It will be difficult uh, to connect with all the information and create the reports. So mainly we want to create the reports to analyze our business from the data. So that data is very much important with the with the data, with the information. If you do the business, it will be. Good for the decision making for the leaders, what they could do it with. Right, simply randomly, if people take the decisions and uh, uh, go on in the business, there are chances that they uh, they might fall on the huge uh, risk risks they they want to be involved in the business, right? So, so that is the reason the data warehousing is very important to uh, get the data. I mean, pick the data from different uh, source files, different formats, but get that data in a one consolidated layer, unified layer. And from there, we can connect with the data uh, and create the reports. So like if you could see, so let's say I want to create a uh, I want to create a report for sales. Right, so I can create I can get that only sales report or I want to create an inventory management report. I can only get that inventory management or if I want to create the transactions payments report. So whatever the data, whatever the report we were trying to build it, right? So we can pull that uh, or connect with the respective information from the data warehouse. It has all the information and properly structured and uh, stored it in there and we connect with that. And with the useful information loaded, so we kind of create a graphical representation, guys. So like here, if you look at so graphical representation in the sense, we will create that uh, like uh, different visualizations, like, you know, we have a lot of visuals are there, 200 plus visuals are there. So I'm sure like uh, you will be clearly learning that uh, uh, when to use which visual and uh, what are the kind of visuals we use it in the projects to create that insights, right? So we'll uh, learn that in very detail in upcoming lessons. So like uh, bar chart, line chart, uh, like pie chart, donut chart, likewise we have it. So we we kind of use that uh, visuals as a BI developer, Power BI developer. So we kind of uh, create that uh, uh, reports. And based on the reports, right, higher management in the company, right? So there will be different, different uh, leaders will be there within the company. So leaders means like they have complete ownership, like how they want to improve their segment of business. Right, there will be different, different leaders involved. So we uh, we kind of different, different uh, reports we created for their different, different, uh, uh, you know, segment of businesses uh, or business units. So based on that, they will. Uh, uh, based on that uh, report, they will analyze it. They will you know have a discussions within that leaders, right? How they want to uh, improve their business to get more uh, 
uh, profits or how they can uh, uh, improve certain business and certain areas. So how they can uh, expand their business, like all these things they can even, uh, you know, uh, think and dish, uh, decide over there, right? So it will, they will not have that uh, power uh, simply to take the decisions. They should have, uh, uh, if they're going with this particular decisions, there should be a uh, lot of uh, uh, data for them to decide and uh, to make the decisions, right? So this is the scope or uh, you know opportunity they get it to improve their you know uh, uh, business and uh, they can also do things like uh, predicting future and uh, forecasting also. Like I can say that uh, you know uh, like my business today is this much we are getting it. So uh, how can I, my business can be in next two years or next one year? So what are the things I have to do it to get that? So what is the customer behavior? What is the customer satisfaction? So what is the scope for me? Like what is the uh, scope for me to increase some more uh, production to get my products uh, uh, more uh, getting selling out within upcoming uh, year? So those kind of things also they can do it. So with the help of uh, machine learning and AI. So basically using the existing information, whatever the data we have it, right? With that, they can create and uh, forecasting uh, data also using that uh, Python, R and machine learning. So these kind of uh, uh, things, they can create it. And uh, so based on that, uh, uh, right? Like creation of that, um, so even that data also, we can represent it with the pictorial manner so that it can be quickly analyzed, All right? So what I want to conclude so far is, so we just uh, learned about what is business intelligence. Business intelligence means it will give business knowledge about the company's uh, data, right? So, so without this business intelligence also, one can uh, uh, make that business. For example, if you take very small uh, shop, they they uh, if they wanted to know how much profits they they are getting it. Usually, people don't do it very small shops, but uh, so they purchase some item for this particular cost and this much they are selling it. How much they got profit in this particular products? And uh, it is a small retail shop, right? But they don't maintain that much uh, information like which area they got that. So, but uh, if they can do with this kind of data analysis, right? So they can concentrate on uh, uh, the products which are giving more, uh, you know, profits to them. And uh, so they can uh, focus on that. So that way it even it will be helpful for them right to get more uh, uh, revenues and profits in that area right so that is the thing like uh, any business uh, with understanding of the data if they do it definitely they will have a clarity what it is happening and uh, they can go forward in the business right so this is the importance we have it like within the business intelligence tool so why they have to invest in the business intelligence okay so, so if you look at uh, uh, this particular training, so Power BI, right? So Power BI is the number one BI tool uh, in the within the market for business intelligence, right? For report creation. So if you look at the standard architecture for your idea, so I'll, I'll go through that uh, things about Power BI, so stuff like later, but. Uh, so how is that uh, a project looks like? Where are we? Whom we will be working with, right? So if you could see, we might get that uh, in a company, right? So there will be different uh, data sources. So because different uh, uh, people and different functions involved, right? So like we'll have HR team, so HR database will be there. So transactions will happen. That is the uh, uh, different sources of the data we get it. So we have a ETL in place. ETL means I told. 
what do we do it with etl is extract transform and load right so that is what the etl tool will do so as i told i will be taking few sessions to give uh, get clear clarity on the ETL also for you. So that will pick the data automatically from the different places. And uh, so we kind of maintain the ODS operational uh, data store. So it is basically uh, we, we take that data, all the data coming from the source. We only do extract and loading, not the transformations. So we kind of uh, place it as a, a reference of the data which we got it from the source system in the ODS usually, right? From here, so we will also use the TDL process to uh, structure and format and uh, store the data, and we do the data consolidation. We also choose uh, proper models for that particular project where uh, we can store the data in that model and it will be quickly uh, accessed or queried. Right. We will also have metadata repository kind of MDM. Uh, it is a kind of, uh, you know, uh, archiving uh, the data. So, for example, in data warehouse, I might be using the data for two years. Right. So for 10 years, if I want to keep the data, I don't keep that uh, whole data within the data warehouse, but I, I kind of archive it uh, in the MDM uh, kind of uh, databases. So which will be uh, uh, like uh, we, we will maintain that information, but it will not be readily uh, available or quickly accessed from that, right? So whatever the required amount of the data we will we want it, we will we will store it or maintain it so that uh, the mesh that uh, you know systems will be uh, good uh, performing and running for us. So we'll also create respective data marts if required. Uh, when I say respect to data marts, so data warehousing has whole data, but uh, respect to data mart will have, let's say, sales data and inventory data, volume data. Uh, within the sales also, we have uh, offline sales, I mean, store business and also online business. Likewise, we'll have uh, different uh, data. We, we categorize it. And end of the day, if you if look at from here, from here to here, enterprise data warehouse, right? It's all completely deals about data, the data. And you could see BI analytics. So this is the part where we will be working on with. So mainly, so we kind of, you know, uh, work with the structured data, whatever we have it, we connect with the data and create the reports and dashboards. And these dashboards, so we provide access uh, to the users, right? So relevant users, we will provide the access where uh, they can uh, analyze the uh, information from that particular reports. So these users, mostly it will be like high level uh, leaders also, they will be involved because mainly people, uh, higher level management who, who uh, mainly wanted to analyze their business. And I can also say that there are other uh, other level of uh, people also who will be looking for their own specific reports. So it will be like most of them, like they will be accessing through, uh, you know, internet. So I will show you one, one simple thing. So it is like a browser kind of thing they will be accessing. They will not have anything uh, kind of a tool they would uh, uh, they would can access that particular kind of reports. So what I'm saying is uh, they can uh, they can uh, uh, go through this web browser and they can easily understand their you know uh, information through this particular reports. I'll just show you uh, for one sample report for now, but I'll I'll show show you how we can uh, get started with this particular ones. Okay, so. Let me take one session, one report. Yeah, so I'll, I'll take one up. I'll open one report. Where we can see that information likewise. It's a pictorial representation, right? So if we look at, 
So you, let's say I, I also provided this uh, slicer for the users where they can select this particular period and then they, they can look at that numbers accordingly in that particular period also, right? So they can see that numbers like this. So this is the sample report of COVID uh, uh, information that has been done. So you could see they can slice and dice like if they would like to see that information with confirmed cases or whatever like cumulate you if you want to get it. So we can we can change those options. So likewise, you know, uh, they can uh, see that particular uh, data or information. Right. So yeah, there are other reports too. Like if I want to show you just if, if you simply search with uh, Power BI reports or reports, not only Power BI reports, if you search with reports, right? You could see like this is the guys. So this is the kind of representation, right? So for example, we have millions of the data will be there. If if user wanted to go each record by record and understand that information, it will take its own time, right? Instead of that, if you can represent the same data, millions of the data in a pictorial representation like this, so users, uh, business users, they can easily understand uh, what is happening in their uh, business and they can easily take the decisions on time. Right, so this will be the quick reference for them to understand uh, what is happening in the business and take decisions on time. So that's what we do it like with the uh, uh, business intelligence tool. Right, so this is the standard thing. There are other ways also where we'll have this kind of projects. So these things in detail will have that uh, 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 you know discussions in upcoming uh, sessions. OK, so this is the overview session. I just given you like uh, knowledge. So and when it comes to the uh, kind of uh, projects or the data or the domains of the uh, data, right? So let's say uh, so we will be having the uh, different uh, I mean different businesses or domains they need uh, uh, these particular reports like for example if you could look at financial manufacturing healthcare e-commerce energy electronics and el electrical food and beverages aerospace telecommunication so these are like uh, the like different uh, domains in which we might get a project to work with Right, it could be any any domain. Right, end of the day, we are a Power BI developer. Right, so for us, what is required? What is business objective? What is that uh, uh, knowledge they want to get out of this data? How is the data structured within the system? And what is that we want to do it? So based on the business objective. Right, so we want to connect with that required data and we want to create this uh, data representation through visuals where users can easily understand what they are looking for. And that helps them to take on time decisions and go forward in their business. So we don't uh, uh, like uh, really work on different uh, kind of domains of the data. For example, if you get a job, right? So then you will be working for a client. For example, if you get a job um, uh, for a ICICI blank uh, financial client, for example, then you will be working on that uh, uh, like those data, financial data. Within the financial, there will be a lot of um, BUs will be there. So they will be uh, working for a particular uh, team where you will be working on that particular team and creating the reports over there. Right, so if it is like, you know, uh, e-commerce data, so we kind of uh, get that, uh, you know, e-commerce uh, data like retail uh, transactions and uh, based on that data, we kind of create the report. So if it is a food and beverages like Coca-Cola, so kind of companies, those kind of data you, you, are, you will be getting to work with. So there are like manufacturing, uh, right? Like manufacturing of the companies on that also. So they, what I would conclude is like uh, mostly uh, in India, uh, right? We get uh, this financial 
uh, manufacturing, healthcare, e-commerce, food and beverages. These clients mostly we get it, but there are other clients also. So we get it like through to work on those kind of data also. But uh, so this is the uh, kind of thing. See, it is like nothing to do with the domain for us. So if you're if you're technically good on Power BI, you can work on any project, any any domain. Main focus is what is the data, so what is that they want it, and you just have to create that visuals and uh, give that reports to them like this pictorial representation, so that they can uh, you know go forward in taking the decisions and do that things. Okay. And if you look at in actual projects, right? In BI projects, who and all will be there or what and all teams will be there, right? So I could say like uh, we'll have different uh, data sources. From that we get the data and as I told ETL tool will be there. So this is a talent is a for example, one ETL tool. You think using this ETL tool, we kind of uh, create uh, jobs and get that data loaded into the storage layer database. Data warehouse, right? From that storage layer, so we kind of connect with that uh, BI tools and create the report. So Tableau is also one of the BI tool. And if you look at next slide, so we have uh, Power BI as well, right? So if you look at this is a Power BI. For visualization, Power BI, so storage, SQL Server, and you could see integrate. See, it is not like one particular tool only is there in the market. Like we have n number of mobile brands are there within the market, right? So not everybody will use same mobile, right? So likewise, there will be lot of there are lot of ETL tools are there. There are lot of storage uh, tools are there. There are lot of BI tools are there. Right among all the BI tools, Power BI stands number one position in the market. Right, so people are choosing Power BI a lot and lot. But even though every company require required business intelligence, but Power BI has its own market actually. So like if I have to, if you wanted to know about more about this Power BI, so if you look at why Power BI, right? So which one is best, better? Like if you look at uh, uh, here, even if you, you can go to the Gartner uh, uh, reference also, right? So you could see in the leaderboard. So in terms of the usage, right? So Microsoft Power BI states number one position. Last five years, the number one position uh, within this Gartner analysis also number one position is like Power BI only. So this is mainly based on this ability to execute and completeness of vision in both the areas. If they are comparing, so Microsoft plays number one position in the market. The second one is, you know, so previously it was only like uh, individual uh, uh, entity, actually organization Tableau, but the Tableau uh, was acquired uh, by the Salesforce organization, right? So the second one is like, you know, Tableau Salesforce, I couldn't say. And there are other other BI tools also. We have it. Google Looker, we have it, but they 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 are like coming up uh, now actually. But mostly like Power BI uh, is the number one in the market. So so we will have lot of opportunities and who's demand in the market for this uh, skill. Okay, and it will be always it will be there. It is not like sometime it will be have demand. Nothing like that. Okay. So that is the thing about uh, Power BI. And uh, yeah, so if you look at uh, things, let me go to the other other areas before we come to the questions, whatever you have it. And uh, see scope of learning Microsoft skills, right? So we will always have demand for Microsoft uh, skills. If you invest your time and learn things and definitely those skills will help you in your career. So to get the jobs and uh, to sustain in that particular job for a long time. So that is the scope for always um, for Microsoft uh, uh, skills. So like if you look at Power BI uh, is there for reporting. So it is like, you know, if, if you take this particular one, right? So Salesforce 
uh, is there like why they have acquired Tableau is they were not having proper BI tool. So that's why they have quite a Tableau, but Salesforce, they have a cloud database. And uh, ETL also they want to have uh, everything uh, uh, which can support for a project. That's why they have done it. So for uh, uh, re with records to Microsoft, right? So they already have uh, all the uh, areas of that project from the beginning onwards, like they have ETL tools. So within on-premise, SIS is there and Azure Data Factory, and even uh, to process huge kind of uh, data things, they also have a Azure Data Bricks also uh, for transformation uh, part. So like that, we have it and data modeling tools, they have it like uh, tabular model and MDX models, they have it so they can uh, support uh, uh, to create huge data and uh, so we can also use it for reporting purpose. So like uh, what I'm saying is like uh, to be frank, Informatica is the number one tool uh, in the market for ETL. Even though Informatica is there, but people are not choosing that because so if they go with Informatica, they want to go with again storage layer, again BI layer. So it is like, you know, people are choosing everything uh, from one organization to get more uh, uh, discount and advantages and the plugins will be easy. So like a lot of uh, things are there to consider with. So so that's why like uh, it. Even though it is a number one in terms of giving everything right, it is so costly and, uh, you know, um, uh, that is the reason like not only costly, but uh, uh, to have it everything at one one particular uh, place, right? People use everything on Microsoft itself, so which will support for entire project, everything Microsoft only, right? So that's the thing about uh, these particular uh, Microsoft skills, learning uh, and things. And when it comes to the actuals, right? So how is our training and what we are going to learn it in this training is like if you look at here, so this is basically like Power BI desktop. So we as a developers, Power BI developers, so we will be working on Power BI desktop. It's a tool actually, standalone tool. So we can easily install that particular tool. I will I will guide you all these things in upcoming lessons. So everything like uh, how do we install this particular tool, how we can create a lic free license account, and we can uh, work on Power BI server side also. Uh, what are the learnings which we have to do it in Power BI service side? So everything I'll teach you over there. So end-to-end -end development of that uh, uh, development will be carried out with Power BI tool. I'll I'll show you quickly. Now I I'll open this tool and how simple it is uh, for for you to learn it. Also, it is very easy tool uh, where we can create that uh, uh, reports and do that. Uh, so it is not. Uh, too much uh, coding knowledge required for this. Nothing is required. So on that area, and if you look at here, so uh, we also learn about in this training Power BI service. What is this Power BI service? Where uh, we can host our reports? Like if you could look at, so this is the Power BI service, right? In that service, uh, uh, we publish uh, reports and we give access to the people, and uh, they they analyze the data using that particular reports. So that is the service. And what is a premium uh, account? We have it and we have different licenses is there. Like if you could look at Power BI Pro license and premium license. So all these things at this moment, you will not be able to understand it, but uh, in upcoming lessons, uh, definitely I'll, I'll clearly uh, explain this one. What is a Power BI? Uh, uh, pro license and premium license. What is advantages we get it like in the in depth uh, we will see about this because we should know like what is a pro license and premium license uh, within that particular area. So so those things uh, we'll see and this is the interface of Power BI tool. So this Power BI desktop, right? So I'm going to take you this particular Power BI tool. Let me open this Power BI tool. So which is already installed in my machine. OK, so let me just uh, open this. So. 
so it is like so we kind of uh, uh, connect with the data so i'll show you like how quickly we can connect with the data and we can create a report from that so so that uh, you know something about uh, this uh, tool then uh, so basically like uh, in this training right you will see like uh, end to end in power bi you can get it for example i worked on like power bi last 5 years dedicatedly mostly power bi uh, people started using around 6 6 years onwards only even though we have that uh, some around 8 plus years but people actually started using this new bi, uh, BI tool from last 6 uh, years right so uh, so what i want to say is like here um, so this uh, five years whatever the knowledge i have it and also uh, basically i will be covering end to end uh, uh, within this power bi so you can confidently uh, you know uh, think like um, right you have uh, you had the real time experience you can definitely feel it so based on this training and uh, based on that you can apply for the jobs and get it okay so because i'll be covering end to end like, uh, uh, like i'll show you like what and all uh, i'll cover it but right now so it is like we can use this get data or uh, simply i'll show you how what are the ways we can connect it in upcoming lessons but let me connect with some data right away so quickly connecting with uh, this uh, database so database called sql server so in sql server i'm trying to connect with some data right so so if you look at uh, uh, this particular one like so we can uh, uh, connect with any data but i'm just uh, connecting uh, uh, with sql server as of now i just kind of load this data that's it so it will ask for these things we'll we'll discuss all these things in upcoming lessons everything you can get that knowledge it is like see uh, i'm sharing my experience and knowledge and real time use cases of different projects which i worked on it so like financial projects manufacturing insurance lot of domains i worked on it so uh, with the uh, experience and uh, knowledge right i'll be giving the, this training so so it will be helpful for you so and also i have uh, around 7 uh, years of training experience so previously i used to give tableau training but now i'm i'm giving on power bi mainly so yeah if you could see this is the thing like i just load this data and we have this data available here right whatever we have loaded and we can use that uh, information let's say i can uh, simply uh, pick up some data fields and i can create the visuals i mean pictorial uh, represent representation we can make out of it right so if you could see so we can create this visual also we can also create the slicers where users can apply that uh, filtration like for example if i want to give this segment filter for the business users so we can give it i can even make it other way around so we'll see very in detail about like everything in upcoming lessons we will learn about uh, this training right so also i can also take some card visuals which will give summarize informations to us so like right uh, so it's very simple so we can uh, but if you have complete knowledge so we can easily work on that comfortably right so that's what i could say that so i'm just creating something uh, to you like here so we can also create a given name and more slices here so name of the report i can take a text box for example i can provide a name for it
See, it looks like a simple, uh, but uh, you should have complete knowledge in this particular one, right? So it is like uh, one can learn few things uh, randomly in the YouTube or wherever, but uh, what is that uh, thing which we can get it is we will get we will not be sure that whether we have completed that complete knowledge we got it where we can work for it so that we don't get it if if you do that self learning so but in my case right like i just give this uh, uh, thing there will be people they will be learning but yeah definitely you can do that learning self learning in the youtube or uh, different places but the thing is if you get if you don't uh, get or you don't have a clarity on like uh, whether you have got complete knowledge out of it then uh, it will be difficult uh, or that question mark will be there within you whether uh, so you have uh, got that complete idea about that or not right so that that is the reason this training will help you to uh, get that complete knowledge uh, out of it and uh, uh, go forward okay so I just created uh, something on here just uh, to show you like. OK, so like this we can create the report. So it is not like uh, everything we can create it directly. I just did a drag and drop and create the report. But uh, it is not the case. There will be data we get it and we were involved to do DAX functions. So right, not like everything readily available to drag and drop. There are something we need to work on the data modeling side and creation of uh, expressions uh, through that uh, formulas, what we have it with. And we just have to create those required columns, measures, and then drag and drop and create a report. And we should know when to use which visuals. And uh, as I told, right, so we can also do the transformations right so we can format and structure the data so each and everything I'll, I'm, I'm going to cover it in this particular training so that uh, you can confidently attend the interviews with 100 uh, percent uh, knowledge what you get it and uh, do that stuff okay and once we create this report right so we kind of publish this report okay let me save this report so somewhere uh, here on the desktop so demo, I'll just say that team 32. OK, we can save that and we can publish that online so we can publish it in the workspaces. Or everything I'll tell you like in upcoming lessons. What is this? What is that? Everything. Let me just publish it here. So once we publish that report will be published online, so so online means like here, like we can see that, right? So here I was trying to publish it in particular workspace. So we can see that over here. For example, it's done. You could see we can click on this link and directly it will open us in the online. So users, uh, they'll they'll get these reports uh, through web only. And they can also apply the filters like this. See. So and get that data accordingly. Right. So, so these are the things which we can uh, do it with. But yeah, so, so I just shown you like how this tool looks like for your information. So this is the Power Bay desktop. So if you could see, so this is the Power Bay desktop, right? Using this particular uh, tool, it's a developer tool basically. So we can uh, do these things. Okay. So that is about uh, this. Uh, uh, Power BI uh, tool and how do we do that and in depth we will learn in upcoming lessons and I would like to tell you this is the roadmap of the training guys. So when I say roadmap, so first I will start with the data warehousing from tomorrow's class. So what is data? What are the different models we have it? So you should know what is the basics about the data basically. So that is what I'm going to cover it in the data warehousing uh, area and then SQL Server. So while I cover it, previously I was not covering ETL tool. 
right? So from this batch onwards, like uh, you know, from this group onwards, I'm going to take SSIS few classes also, ETL tool also, so that you can even add that skill also in the resume, saying that you have a fair understanding and uh, some kind of experience on ETL also. ETL means data engineering side also, you have kind of experience. And SQL Server, so we will be, uh, uh, I'll be teaching SQL Server then. So how do we store the data? Uh, how do we create the tables or load the data? How do we query the data? Everything we will see that in SQL thing. And then Power BI Desktop. So when I say in Power BI Desktop, I'll be covering end to end. So end to end means like, uh, as I told, uh, complete knowledge, you can get it comfortably. You can even work on that. OK, and also visuals. So which visual? Let's say you are BI developer. Bar charts is there. On which scenario we can use this bar chart or line chart or donut chart or pie chart or scatter plot chart or Pareto chart or tornado chart, any, any kind of charts we have it. So what is the purpose? Mainly, uh, what purpose we can use that visual for? Right, I'll be taking the sessions on that area and DAX functions, right? So mainly, I don't want to compare with the other places, but mainly what I heard from a lot of my uh, students, right? Like uh, they don't get complete uh, knowledge on the DAX. So main part of this training is, you know, somebody who should get complete knowledge on DAX only. Right, so DAX functions is something it's it should be. They should be very good to work with. Right, simply if they get uh, the training on other places, other institutes, some 30 functions or 40 functions, then there is no use of that training at all. If you have complete idea about this uh, DAX functions along with the real time, simply I know what is this function and it doesn't work. Right? If they, it is like you are going with experience, right? Experience uh, person where you can start working on or contributing on the projects. Right, so you should know what are the real time use cases where we have used this kind of uh, uh, functions. Then you will get some idea clearly when you are working actually. Right, so I'm going to cover this uh, around 230 functions with examples, real time use cases, so which will help you definitely in the, you know, um, uh, like while creating this, you know, measures and uh, calculated columns definitely so that will be uh, uh, good uh, I can say that in this training okay so then I'll cover this uh, power BI server or service also I'll be covering uh, you know real-time uh, project class so so where you can even uh, uh, take that notes you my notes using that notes you can comfortably explain that uh, project also. So how is your project? How you have worked with? If they ask you an interview, then you can easily say that. OK, so this is the roadmap of uh, the training and also I will be sharing that uh, resume class and how to get more calls. Uh, uh, like uh, let's say we have thousands of people out of them, like how you can get that calls for interviews, right? Than others, right? So I'll also tell you those, uh, you know, uh, those knowledge also I'll share it so that you can apply that and get that lot of calls uh, and uh, get that jobs. OK, so this is the roadmap of the training, which I'm going to do it actually. And if you could see, like I will also take uh, mock sessions, guys, mock interviews on daily basis. So if I take some data warehousing, I'll be asking some questions every one of you so that uh, you know you will be comfortable on the interview questions what they are going to ask right so and also i'll share that reports for hands on practice so actually and yeah sorry this is like uh, so it will be like uh, from the start date i will be providing 8 months uh, recordings okay 8 months uh, is what i i share it uh, the recordings, right? It will be easy only within a month. You can learn this particular skill. It is not so difficult. There is no coding in, in world. So this is the 
uh, access uh, of the recordings, everyday recordings which I do provide it and material I do provide end to end. Whatever I, I give that on the training, I provide everything. Right. In case if at all uh, somebody of you like, you know, trying for uh, jobs and uh, you are not able to crack it for some reasons, maybe you are not able to uh, handle some of the real time uh, scenario based questions. So you can easily think about that and you can even uh, answer those scenario based questions. For some reason, you are not able to get through and uh, if you need a help to get the job, once you get a job, crack the interview, then you can work on it have knowledge right so if you need some placement assistance then i will be uh, helping uh, for uh, for all of you like to get that job right so that also i do it but uh, that is optional okay so it is like somebody who tried it and not getting it so you need help you can take it so but that is completely optional for you but uh, this is the training which uh, which will cost you 10000 okay so 10000 uh, is a training fees you can pay in two installments that is also there and uh, yeah if you could see uh, you can also subscribe to this channel corporate trainer navin and uh, there are some of the information which is already provided here like some of the etl tool and my tableau training videos also there here in the playlist so you can uh, watch them free of cost if required okay so that is the thing about uh, this uh, training yeah so any open questions uh, i'll be happy to answer you right now but yeah one thing so in uh, from tomorrow session if you have any doubts or anything you can stop me at that time and clarify your doubt and continue with the training so this is the overview or uh, just a demo session so what is this uh, it is going to be right so i have given this but uh, yeah now you can ask me any questions anyone has any questions feel free to ask Hi, Navin. this is himan yeah yeah, no, I have basic knowledge in Power BI, but uh, I have a few questions in our DAX uh, regarding. See, that's what uh, a lot of people right who struggle with half of knowledge. Yeah. Right. So they will think like I only know Power BI. How much they know, they don't know. Right. Mm -hmm. Might be they know something hundred percent or eighty percent or they don't know, but they are not confident enough to uh, you know. Uh, give the interviews or crack the interviews and they keep struggling it so i have seen that people uh, in my experience so so what i would uh, do it is in this training definitely if you take this training right definitely you will have 100 percent confident to attend that uh, interviews with complete knowledge because i'll be covering everything okay yeah as the, i see the worry now i get the uh, on confidence like you has covered uh, everything uh, regarding tax also as yeah. you mentioned so yes yes it's not like mentioned you can uh, even if you have uh, most of the students i get it from uh, reference only right like somebody of their friends you ask them yeah right so no no other place you don't uh, get it like complete uh, knowledge on the tax area so which i'll yeah. be focusing because you know I just don't want to create this or give this training uh, with half of knowledge and mm -hmm. again uh, end up uh, getting the challenges for the students, right? So I just cover it and everything. Yeah, one of my brother uh, friend also suggests this to me and he got yes. a job. Uh... Yes, yes, see a lot of uh, people, they get their job on their own my, from my training. Yeah. Own. Okay, it is not like they involve in placement support, but it is optional for every everybody. Any questions, uh, guys? Yeah. Well, my name is Kiran Kanwa. Uh, one of my friend is suggested uh, your name for uh, Power BI training. Uh, I'm I'm I have an almost uh, six years of experience in software testing experience. Uh, currently, I'm not working. I have to switch. Uh, to the other uh, field that's why i'm 
choosing this one. Uh, See, I, I will uh, honestly help you. Like, uh, you know, you are a working professional and you lost your job for some reason. And uh, to be frank, in IT, right, at this moment, uh, you know, a uh, bit uh, recession uh, it is going on. Slight less openings are there. But uh, definitely I'm going to help you out, like how to get more calls, what effort you have to put to get more calls in any of the skill, right? So in Power BI, of course, you get the calls. But if you do that, you get a lot of calls. Getting one or two calls and getting a lot of calls, there is a difference. You, I, I will uh, guide those things for sure. So definitely you get that uh, calls and you can try for opportunities. Thanks. Uh, the question is, uh, this is uh, correct. Uh, I'm choosing uh, the way uh, I'm asking. I mean, yes, yes, that's what like that's what I was saying uh, previously, right? Like right now, every software skill, right? There is a recession is going within software industry only, right? So because of that impact, right? So bit less opportunities are there. Right, but in Power BI, see BI will uh, uh, BI is always on demanding. Power BI, if you if you learn it, definitely it will have lot of opportunities outside. Right, it will be like always opportunities out of it to get to grab those opportunities, whatever in the market. Right, how to grab it? So I'll I'll show you that technique. I'll I'll guide you those techniques. Right, if you follow, definitely you can get the calls. But so for you, it is not only this training. There are uh, thousands of skills within the software side. Right? So you can do any skill to get your job. But this is also one thing you can do it and get the job. The same uh, technology you are uh, skill uh, you are training, right? The, the same will be applicable for data analyst also. Yeah, yeah. Say anything with respect to the data, data analysis, data analysis, anal analyst. So everything it is comes under data side only. Okay. Thanks, Navin. Thank you. Hi, Navin. I imagine. Yes. Hello. Uh, I yes, complete, yes. Uh, I have completed B civil engineering in 2016 batch out. I have no experience in the IT field. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I uh, any possible to join uh, get a job uh, in this field? Definitely, uh, there are people uh, from mechanical stream, civil, and also uh, not only from B, right? So people uh, who has uh, BCom, BSc, other uh, those uh, kind of graduate. Any graduate is eligible, guys. Any degree is eligible oh. to do this uh, training. And okay. uh, you can uh, get that uh, right. Saying that you have uh, this kind of experience, and that uh, helps them for them also to make you uh, work. So definitely, any degree is the eligibility. Okay, I have no experience into that, uh, but uh, so that's the other thing, right? So uh, basically, here whoever is attending the training or my previous trainings, nobody has experience, or they have experience in other area. In that area, the demand is less. Now they want to upskill it. They are also very much new. They are doing something else work. They are completely learning from this training and then they are trying to get the jobs. Okay. You get it what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, I get it. Yeah, so see like those whoever is doing right, like in this training, they are completely new. They have 10 years experience. They are is there in other domain completely. They have zero knowledge of it. But they are also learning and they are going to keep uh, uh, that like they have experience in this area and try to get the jobs. OK, OK, OK. Yeah, uh, I have another query like uh, I'm working uh, as a HR right now. Yeah, and uh, is this experience will be applicable for the Yes, yes, uh, okay. you can do that like you can you can say that like uh, even though I'm in HR, so I do work on HR based reports. On yeah, that domain, analyst in Amazon. Yes, yes, so, you can see those things. You can work out with me separately, like uh, how you can do it. But for now, to do this training, definitely you can do that. Yeah. Okay. okay. Somebody is working on healthcare BPO. You can keep the healthcare project and explain that project only in the interview. 
somebody who's working on HR, HR domain also we create the reports. You can explain those kind of data only in the project. So you can do these things uh, later on, like if required. See, I'm a personal trainer. It is not an institute uh, which we have it, right? So just it's a personal trainer. I'm available in uh, uh, to connect with you. So you can ping me your queries and we can do that later also. Okay. Yeah, okay. thank you. Thank you. For Navina, I have another question. Uh, are you are you provide to certificate in this type of course? No, no certificate. I will be giving it. I give only knowledge, hundred percent knowledge. Simply, I don't create a certificate and give it, but I confidently say that complete knowledge you can get it from my training. See, nobody. See, to be frank, uh, I have ten years experience, right? I can if I. Uh, had interest to get the certificates i could have got lot of certificates but i don't have any certificate right now okay so based on the certificate based on the certificate one second guys let me just uh, clear it then you can ask so with nobody will give you a job by looking at the certificate people will give the job based on the knowledge right Okay. Simply, if you keep uh, you know a certificate and if you don't work for it, then what is the use, right? They ask okay. questions in the interview, and then give you the job. Okay. 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 Thank you. Any other questions? Anybody has? Okay, let me stop this recording. So guys, uh,